Hey guys. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna have a cool conversation. Are you ready? Are you ready? So I put up a rather controversial conversation last night into a, a private entrepreneurs group and I got some interesting responses. Obviously, I was trying to spark people's interest. I was trying to get a reaction and I got that and it was perfect. It was so perfect. It led to some very, very full-on conversations, which I'm so grateful for. But the interesting thing was, so the point that I made was, so many people are out there trying to get success in their life, trying to create the ultimate lifestyle, the ultimate health, the ultimate wealth, whatever it might be. And they start focusing on their food and their fitness. And I'm like, dudes, save yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. And a lot of people were just totally perplexed as to what I meant. They were like, but I always focus on my food first and I've had success. And I'm like, yeah, but how many times have you been trying to focus on your food and get success? Anyway, so the greater conversation came about from all these women that do all this work with people and they do all this, they're like, I'm a coach and a mentor and I've had great success. And I was like, yeah, but is the success long life or lifelong <laughs> or is it just for the moment and these people are having breakthroughs, breakdowns, breakthroughs, breakdowns, and they keep going backwards into this cycle continuously. So yes, we can gain, um, hey Bruce, hey Sam, hey Tony. Uh, so yes, we can gain results and yes, we can have an effect, but is it the long term or is this just yet another quick fix? People focus on the food and the fitness in their life and they're trying to fix it, but they forget to realize that this is only a small, tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And so I got into this quite a heated discussion, which, well, it wasn't. It was an opinionated discussion, which is delicious. And we, we got into discussing, she said about um, uh, people having to look at their food first and then they can start looking at all these other things. But I said, you know what? You've given me the perfect opportunity, love, to <laughs> talk about us being like plants. Hence the plants in the background. And so we are legitimately like plants and yet we forget this. So without the correct, so yes, we can give it the correct food, but then you could overfeed it. Or you may be giving it the wrong food at the wrong time, right? So our health, our lifestyle, our environment is exactly the same. We are like a plant, whether you'd like to admit it or not. We need to have the correct amount of sun, the correct wind direction. We need to be planted, seasoned, watered, nurtured at the right times of the year. We do move with the seasons. And we also need to understand that not all food affects us the same. Not all of us need a lot of sunlight. Not all of us need to be watered heats. Not all of us need to be um, nurtured and tended to constantly. Not all of us are going to produce fruit. Not all of us are going to, like, do you see what I mean? We are so like plants. It is extraordinary. It's such a beautiful conversation to realize. Stop treating yourself like a cactus or the one thing. Because so many of us are a particular species of just you and how you are watered, fed, nurtured, and when all these things happen, when, so think about this, when you transplant, transplant, when you transfer a plant into a new pot, those who are the green thumbs out there, is it not correct that there is a certain time and a certain manner in which that needs to be done? So why is it that we adapt to the understanding that our plants have an individual requirement, and yet so many of you are out there taking templates and acting like the, uh, the status quo, why are all of you sitting there trying to do what everybody else is doing instead of figuring out what is your truth, what is your pattern, what is your flourishing pattern so that you get to have success in all areas of your life? And I'm not just talking health. I'm not just talking mindset. I'm talking environment, lifestyle, time frames, business, families, relationship, uh, inner connection. All of it is down to you understanding what you need, when and why. You are not a template, you are a special little seedling that is growing and you're waiting to be transplanted into the ultimate environment. I thought it was the best, best way to have this conversation. So I hope you've, just, you've enjoyed that and I hope you get something from it. Give me a, uh, a wave, a high five, an emoji, if that makes sense. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna get back to it, just had to share.